Yeah. Should I try to um, connect to Pradathos? Feel it out? Yeah, okay. sure. Better. Like, are you scrying? What are you doing? Probably just like a little opening up my mind to okay. what's... As long as we're okay having to take it? off pretty quick if things go yeah. south. Gonna... It could be like a but we're and more yeah. off. It's also the whole reason we're here and we're alone for now. Mm -hmm. so. But do you think like your mother could connect to that? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not saying it's not worth it. I think it is good that we still have this spell on us that keeps anything from prying in that, that might help protect us a bit. I don't know, though. And it's not like we're super stealthy either. Like, we made a fucking mess coming in. So. We make a mess wherever we go. Yeah. yeah. But if it goes wrong, we can leave fast. Yeah. Faster mm -hmm. than we'll be able to tomorrow. It's true. Do it! Do we'll it. kill you if it goes sideways. We'll kill him if it goes sideways. I didn't, I, that's not true. I wonder, like, if, if I would feel you connect. I don't know. Fuck Let around, me know. Find Let's out. see. Yeah, so I'm going to turn around so I'm not looking at you. I'm gonna, that'll make I'm gonna a pinch Imogen Ow, and see if you fuck? feel it. I didn't feel anything. That, that really Jim hurt, you motherfucker. Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> We're all connected here. All right. I'm gonna uh, sit down and put my, my palms down, kind of like I did in my dream. Yeah. Put my palms down on the ground and, and reach out. Like with open mind and try to sense Pradathos. Okay. That energy that I felt in my dream. You close your eyes and recall that that sensation, that simultaneously reaching out and opening up. And it doesn't take long for that feeling of you dropping out of your own consciousness. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Like you are oh tumbling shit. out of a, the back of a swing, and there's no ground to catch you as you feel the cavern vanish, and the shadow of the surrounding rock takes you. And here, in this familiar void, you feel that presence, that overwhelming presence, that vibrates like the slowest, most ancient snore, rumbling through everything that surrounds you. You feel that, that connection, that welcoming, earnest draw. Like you've never belonged to anything more in your life. And you feel that tug down, down, down. And then you feel it shift as it notices you. This might have been a mistake. And you hear in your mind, in your soul, in every vibrating atom in your body, you feel it. Welcome home. Join us. Wake us. Make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Did you say wake, wake us? us? Wake us. Okay. It's 14. It's 14. <laughs> That's not bad. terrible. <clears throat> you. <laughs> this presence, these, they're not even words, they're just emotions that your brain can only try and comprehend. And the way that it swallows you, shakes you to where the steeled will that you've worked so hard to build suddenly crumbles. And in that moment of faltering fear, you let it all in. And when it does, you are pulled deeper into the darkness, and suddenly you can see hundreds of little red lights here in the shadow. So many of them. One of them that looks like Fern. 
some very bright ones. One that looks like your mother. And they're all moving down. And you feel all of you all connect and network, and suddenly you can feel them all looking towards you. And through all of them you hear once more, wake us. Do you resist or do you delve deeper? <laughs> I don't want to wake up. Start that lawnmower. No, 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 no. He didn't say, do you want to wake them? He said, do you want to let yourself go deeper? No, I don't want to go deeper. I don't want to go deeper. I don't want to go deeper. She's all by herself. She'll make her own decisions. I don't want to go deeper. Because, because, because if I go deeper, I will, I won't be able to fight it. I'll be part of it. You got your friends here. Are you sure? I really, 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 you really think so. Fern. You okay. love her. I make a wisdom saving too. <gasps> oh. Eighteen. It's an eighteen. Oh, there's another one in there. Yes, oh, Nicole. No. Oh, that's how it's called. That series of red connecting threads, like the tiniest little bridges between all of these people, this network of Ruud is born. All of these seated figures that have gathered and are still gathering here to this world. For what purpose you? don't understand, or now you do, to wake them, to wake it, you begin to feel these tethers get stronger and stronger, and you pull back, and with all of your might, in the memory of being a child lost in these dreams, Surrounded by dust and red and hopelessness, you scream and the darkness shatters and you're back in the cave around your friends. You all watch as Imogen just screams loudly, her eyes bright red, and you watch as all of the spider-like lightning marks on her body brighten like the end of a heated ember before they slowly subside as I, she returns. I just quickly grab her and say, shh, 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 shh. Sorry, is that right? Is that right? Jenny, will you go check the front? Yeah, yeah. What happened? There's still time. There's still time. It's not awake yet. Not all the way. Y'all, I don't know if I, um, I don't know if I'd be able to fight that again. Do you think you're like their messiah, their chosen one? No, no. If it's not your mother. They're all, they're all chosen. It's all us all. Everybody here. Us all. All the all the Ruidus born that are, that are here. I saw you. You did. You can't fight it. It seems your experience is so unique. Com they, compared, I don't uh, mean this in a bad way, no, but compared to Fern they, and... They, they seem like they need you. Yes. yes. I, I don't think if Fern tried to do the same thing, if she would have the same results. From my perspective, did I feel anything when she like blipped online? I mean, her presence, just the, the nature of her power is something that is very affecting in the vicinity. But when she flared, that tether between the two of you, for a brief moment, almost like almost like the filament in the light bulb kind of glowed. You know, Imogen, um, I believe you. 
I'm guessing you're not wrong. But what they're all gathering here to do is they're going to make it happen one way or another. And you are our best shot of getting close and understanding. You want me to go back in? I need you here with us. And we need to get... We need to keep going. You don't have to do anything you... Of course she doesn't have to. do. But you know what's at stake. Of course. But you still But I want to be able her, to... Though. No, I... It's... I don't think you understand. My mother... My mother reached out to me my entire life. As soon as I started feeling that pull, she tried to get me to run away from it. She knew. She knew that once you were in it, you couldn't escape. And I think that's... I think that's what's happening with her, you know what? Okay, game it out with me. We turn around, we run away. No, I'm not gonna run away. I'm not gonna run away. We, we, we need to fight this. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I don't think if I can... If I can keep from delving like that again. That's I, that's not where I'm going. What you just did was dangerous, and we know more now than yeah. we did 10 minutes ago. But this is gonna test you. Yeah. And the risk. You're right, it's real. But I don't even want to think of the alternative. So does she have to do it? No but I am pressuring her to do it. Let's not pretend it's not gonna happen one way or another anyway. You're either gonna end up down there on your terms or on somebody else's. It's just a fucking inevitability. And I'm not just pressuring her, I'm pressuring you. And him, and them. Me. We're all here. Yeah. It's not, it's not a tourist stop. No. We're risking everything, because we have to. <clears throat> This, don't forget Orem. This is a research mission. We're gathering intelligence. We're not going to fight it right now. And you just did. And there's more to know. Yeah. I have another theory. <laughs> I actually think you might be the key. Your mom. When you saw her before, she didn't try and persuade you to join, right? It was run. Yeah. And if they're saying, wake us, maybe your mom is actually, hear me out, like a secret agent. Maybe she's trying to keep tabs, she's and the thing that they need is you. Odahan tried to unlock you, right? So what if this whole time, the thing they need is you. I agree with that. It's kind of what I meant by the yeah. messiah thing, their savior. It's kind of a similar vein. Which puts us in a very advantageous position. I'm just saying, I would rather have the thing that they want and need than not be able to affect any kind of influence at all. Plus, it might help explain why it's been connected in the sky for so long and Nothing's, Nothing's happened. really happened. It could also be somewhere in between where they need her to make it sooner, faster, easier, but they can still do it without her. Mm -hmm. If it was really, if we knew that it was her, then we should not have you here at all. We should lock you away where they can't find you somewhere. I don't think that that's an option. What if you're you're supposed to wake up the good guys type of a thing? Like, uh, I know you're a messiah situation, whatever you want to call it. But like, maybe your mom wanted you to run because of all the other shit going on. And maybe because you are supposed to wake something up. I don't know. I feel yeah, like the Rylorians are not a... I feel like we should help them. 
I mean, this is her home. Well, and, and you said you saw Fern in this group. Yeah, I'm not that. Yeah. I'm not that bad guy. To that point. Are you? <laughs> no. Well, I mean. Did I get a sense when I when I was there, like mm-hmm. her location? Could I sense that she was next to me? You could sense that she was very close. And the network of people that you saw, there were there were very bright ones. Yeah. You were a very bright one. Your mother was a there's, very bright one. You nothing. saw maybe two dozen ones of around that equal level of brightness, mm-hmm. um, with some varying. And there were dozens more that were fainter, like Fern, all ruidous born. But you could make out that there were exultants like you. Kind of the true final evolution of what the Ruidus born was intended to eventually be. You also got a sense that you could see loosely where they were, the direction where they were from you. And now that you think of where you are and kind of remember where you were sitting, you also have a pretty strong idea Ooh, of where that network seemed to gather. Is it the direction we've been going in? It's loosely in that direction, but you have a much clearer pinpoint now. Nice. Okay. Question. Oh, sorry. Has Imogen, above table, has Imogen always been exalted, or when Odahan nuked her, forced her, did she then become exalted? Above table, how does the campaign end? (laughs) 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 The best that you can ascertain (laughs) Is that, and from what was read in some of the uh, the Grim Verities research notes, is that exultants are in just naturally like the most powerful version of Aruidas born, but usually through either a severely traumatic event or some sort of outside stimuli <laughs> causes them to exalt into their realized self. Right. Best, best that you can tell, exultants have always been exultants. They just didn't know the, the full potential of their power. Okay. And there are many more Ruidus born that are just faintly Ruidus born and kind of affected by those energies. Okay. But are kind of the, the long historical predecessors of this thousands year long process of Ruidus, of Pradathos getting to whatever its end is. Our orders are clear. Beat the shit out of Fern until she levels up. Yeah. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> Nothing's happening, Al! 